Today on Blurning, we're going to show you how to do a chalkboard effect that looks something like this. All right, guys, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. How are you guys doing? I was asking them, Brent. Oh, okay. Learning with Bobby and Brent. Okay, so today on Blurning, we're going to be doing a chalkboard effect. So if you've ever done a graphic with, uh, you know, a chalkboard in the background and you want to do something like as if the chalk is being written, uh, you probably found yourself wondering, how do I get the text to write itself out? Yeah, that, uh, that's definitely something I've wondered to myself. I know there's some like typing presets, but it doesn't look like it's being written. Yeah. It's just you know, letters popping in. It's <laughs> just like a typewriter. Chick, 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 chick. But yeah, we exactly. want it to look more fluid, like yeah. you saw in the beginning. Yeah, so, it's like you're writing it. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. I am tired of ado. I don't want no more ado. Okay. I've had too much ado for one life. Now, Brent, here's the question. Which side do I grab? Yes, that one. I believe that's the one. It's the opposite of whatever one you think it is. Yeah, okay. there you go. Today's video, we're gonna be using a sample from our next episode of Autonomous Driving Future. Yes. Woo! Oh yeah. Uh, which actually came out yesterday. So check that out. This video, Zach says some numbers, and uh, we're gonna basically show those numbers on the screen. Yep. So let's uh, hear what we have in this okay. video so far. So that's another $152 billion in savings. Listen to those golden pipes. Woo! Zach has the voice of an angel. So let's, uh, let's start off by dragging a background into this video. So we have here a chalkboard picture that we got off the internet. You can get your own off the internet if yeah, you want. Yeah, go get your own, all right? I mean, you can find this one on Google. You can find your own on Google. Get Doesn't your matter. own chalkboard. It's up to you. Take a picture of it. I don't know. See, that's the beauty of video editing. You can do what you want. Do what we're you not, want. I'm not here to tell you what's to do. It's a wild, wild west, baby. So let's take this uh, this photo that we've gotten from Google of a chalkboard, and let's drag it in to our composition here. It's a little big, so we're going to shrink it. Shrink a dink. Okay, so now we have our chalkboard. That looks good. And we're going to hit our shift and our backslash key to fit to screen. So we're going to start off this effect by selecting our type tool. Okay. And we're going to paste in the number that we're going to be using for this. So in this case is 152,941,176,471 dollars. Wow. So that font is uh, is not doing it for me. We need something more chalky. Yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the color to white. White. And then we're going to go into our fonts over here. And we've gotten this font off the internet called Just A Word. Okay, that's and looking chalky. So the blend mode that we're gonna use for this specific situation here is we're going to go and hit Exclusion. So hmm. as you can see now, that's going to uh, reveal any of the dust and scratches on the chalkboard over the font. I see it there. And it's gonna make it look like it's part of the chalkboard, like it's actually been written on. Now, the part where you have to make it right itself is actually a lot more simple than you might think. You go on YouTube, people might tell you that you have to trace the letters and you know trace every single line, and we're not here to tell you that, because yeah. let me tell you this, when you're in a time crunch and you gotta get a video out, and you just don't feel like tracing every little number and letter on a sentence, you're not gonna wanna do that. You're not gonna wanna sit there and mask everything. That is rigod dang ridiculous. What? So me and Brent came up with a way mm -mm. that's a little bit more simple. Yes. Uh, that looks just as good in our opinion. Yep. So we're gonna show you how to do that. Instead of selecting and tracing every individual letter, okay. we're going to just take the pen tool and we're just gonna do these scribbles here. Little zigzags. Little zigzags. You zig and I zag. It doesn't take too Baby. long this way. All you do is just zigzag across your text, make sure that you've got most of your grounds covered, and then you should be good. Now, you have to make sure that when you're doing the pen tool that you have the layer selected so that it creates a mask. Uh -huh. You don't wanna make accidentally create a shape layer above it. That's not gonna do you any good. So, we have created a mask here. Cool. And now like we're gonna it. go to our effects and presets, and we're gonna search for our stroke effect. And we're gonna go under generate, and hit stroke. And oh, we're yeah. gonna just drag that right onto our text. Now nothing happened yet. That's okay, that's what you want. So we're gonna go over to our stroke effect, and under paint style, we're gonna change that to reveal original image. Oh, okay. So now, basically, the stroke is going to be revealing what is the text underneath. 
Okay. But you can't see it just yet because the brush size is too small. So we're gonna go to our brush size and we're gonna bring that up. And now you can see it's sort of revealing what is uh, going to be there. So if we go back to our original image, you can see the brush sizes here. Oh, okay, yeah. So we're changing the brush size so it's revealing, it's sort of masking out what we want to show. If we go back to our reveal original image, if you go to the end feature here and drag it to the left, to zero, it will start to hide oh, the Oh, what do we mask. have here? So that's kind of, uh, it's, it's going from the beginning of the line to the end of the line, and it's going to reveal our text. So that's kind of how it is. It's pretty, that, it's pretty simple. Uh, so I like that. we're gonna find the audio for where Zach starts speaking of the number here. Yes. So that's another. Okay, so he right starts about right there. about there. Okay. So let's hit the little stopwatch on end here, and we'll bring it down to zero. And if we hit our U key on the keyboard, that'll bring up our keyframes. And let's let it play, so we'll see how long it takes for Zach to state the number. $152 billion in savings. All right, so that should be where it ends about. So let's drag that all the way to the end there. And let's see how it came out. It's another $152 billion in savings. So, so that... Looks pretty good to me. I, don't I like know. it. It's uh, it's really s that simple, guys. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is just trace it, and then set the stroke effects to the proper settings. Yep. And that's it. And uh, ways that you can make it a little bit more uh, realistic are by adding some sound effects of some chalk sound. So some scribbles, <laughs> some scribbles, yeah. and some scrabbles. Well, that was an easy one. I like it. That was like a really it. easy one. That I was like straightforward. I like it. So thanks for checking out this episode of Learning. Yeah, I guess that's it. Like sub. Patreon, if you would consider as much. Uh, comment. Comment. Uh, yell at us. Tell us we're dumb. Give or tell us, us you ideas. like us. You know, yeah. whatever you want to do. Yeah. We're, we won't judge. We right? don't care what you do. We are, you know, you 21st way. century millennials. We're accepting of all types. Yeah, so we're accepting what, of whatever all you want to do, hate, love, we'll ex embrace all of it. So that's it, guys. All right. I've been Bobby. And I've been Brent. And you're watching a very special episode of... Create a new folder. Oh, what? What? Oh, that guy clicks. That's, I know, that's I know, fantastic. I know. Isn't that so satisfying? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? That guy clicks. All right, guys. What's up? Hey. How you doing? Pretty good. How are you guys doing? I was asking them, Brent. Oh, okay. <laughs> why you said pretty good, but. I don't know why I answer as if I. I'm speaking on behalf of the audience because I'm a man of the people. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. <laughs> that's, why, that's why you got to get a haircut. Exactly. I got to represent the people now. Represent so. the people. I, I, like forgot, I forgot my business jacket. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, okay. I like this freedom. We got no freedom. Got no yeah. hands Ooh. on me. I am completely wrapped here in lab cord. Rapture. Lab, right. lab cord. Now, the... the... <laughs> I cannot formulate what I'm saying. <laughs>